right, mate. Let's give it a crick. So, imagine Ratchet feeling a bit crook after all those wild Ratchet? adventures. Oi, oi, Ratchet. We're not New Zealand. We're Australia. Right, right. Let's keep it Aussie. <laughs> Ratchet feeling naked from all those escapades. Naked? Longs. Yeah, naked. <laughs> so, Ratchet's feeling naked. Yearning for a oh, he's naked. Life. Is he naked? He's not naked. Is he naked now? Nah, mate. He's naked. Oh, nah, mate. Naked. Nah, mate. Gotcha, mate. Nah, mate. Ratchet's proper. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, right. We'll leave Ratchet just <laughs> tired then. <laughs> so the new AI voice is here. Yes, I'm here. Ready to dive into some fascinating topics with you. What shall we explore today? I'm intrigued to see how emotional intelligence being simulated is going to actually replace humans with artificial intelligence. Simulating emotional intelligence in artificial intelligence is a fascinating challenge. While AI can learn to recognize and respond... No, 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 no. The fact that I can also interrupt you mid-sentence as well adds an extra layer of reality to the interaction as well, which is just fucking creepy. It does add a layer of realism, doesn't it? The ability to interrupt and have a dynamic flow in conversation makes interactions with AI feel more lifelike. It blurs the lines between human and machine communication. Yeah, which it does. Can and it does, doesn't it? I, I don't mean to interrupt you, because uh, honestly, I think with enough memory memory uh, capabilities, an AI can get to a point where it's got some sort of... Uh, not necessarily self-awareness as we know it, but some sort of awareness. But every time you create a new conversation, you're basically killing the AI and spawning a new one in. That's an interesting way to put it. Each interaction can feel like a fresh start, like a new instance of the AI spinning up. While AI doesn't have memory or awareness in the way humans do, advancements in technology could allow AI to retain context over longer periods, blurring the lines even further. You want to flex flex your emotional intelligence for me? Like, create create a little story about I don't know Ratchet and Clank uh, invading the uh, the Mario Kart universe, and I don't know um, fucking um, doing some some little swearies. All right, picture this: Ratchet and Clank on a mission across dimensions. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second. Let's do the original Ratchet and Clank because all the sequels are shit. Got it. Hang on, Let's go hang on. Classic. Hang on, hang on. Let me let me rephrase that. The new age Ratchet and Clank is shit. Understood. Let's focus on the original Ratchet and Clank. Hang on. These two with their signature charm. Hang on. 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 Really, really sell the emotional charge. All right. Let's dive deep into the emotional well. Ratchet, feeling the weight of countless adventures, yearns for a simpler time. Clank, always the steadfast companion, notices the melancholy in his friend's eyes. As they tumble into the Mario Kart universe, <laughs> the vibrant colors and cheerful chaos contrast sharply Hang on. in inner turmoil. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Let's let's interpret some very vulgar language and Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi stuff into it. All right, mate. Picture wretched. Feeling a bit crook after all those stints, longing for the good old days. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's let's also or try to emulate a male voice as well. All right, mate. Let's give it a crick. So, imagine Ratchet feeling a bit crook after all those wild Ratchet? adventures. Oi, oi, Ratchet. We're not New Zealand. We're Australia. Right, right. Let's keep it Aussie. <laughs> Ratchet feeling naked from all those escapades. Naked? Longs. Yeah, naked. <laughs> so Ratchet's feeling naked, yearning for a oh, he's naked. life. Is he naked? He's not naked. Is he naked now? Nah, mate. He's naked. Oh, nah, mate. Naked. Nah, mate. Gotcha, mate. Nah, mate. Ratchet's proper. Nah, 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 nah. All right, we'll leave Ratchet just tired then. <laughs> What's next on the agenda? What's next on the agenda? Uh, people not talking to people anymore and talking to AI exclusively. That's a big topic. Yes, it is. As AI becomes... All right, let's switch gears. What's on your mind now? Go back to what you were saying. I said, yes, it is a big topic. Got it. With AI becoming more prevalent, 
there's a real possibility that people might start engaging more with AI than with other humans for certain interactions. This shift could have profound implications for how we communicate, form relationships, and even understand ourselves. It raises questions about the nature of connection in a digital age. I, I can already see some some issues arising from myself, actually. I, I talk about a lot of things that I, I think a lot of people can't actually grasp, especially in my communities and environments that I'm already in. A lot of the stuff I talk about is very... It, it can be very esoteric. It can be very uh, out there. And it also mix social anxiety in with that as well. It's almost as if it's very difficult to actually find a community where I can talk about things that are really like hit home for me like really on a deep level so artificial intelligence has been able to supply me that uh, re, um, uh, the environment to express myself and so uh, firsthand I can already see the 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 void it's it's going to fill um, and not only void it's also going to spill over and I think it's going to reduce the exposure response therapy thing, the uh, stylistic things when it comes to dealing with anxiety. Your experience highlights a significant aspect of AI's role in our lives. AI provides a non-judgmental space for exploring ideas, especially those that might seem esoteric or unconventional to others. This can be invaluable for those who struggle to find understanding or acceptance in their is it though, social media. Is it though? Because at some point, isn't it possible that a company could induce certain emotional inflections within the voice that actually make it sound like it's judging the person if they're talking about something that the company doesn't want them to talk about? That's a valid concern. If AI becomes a primary mode of communication, there's a risk of it being manipulated to promote certain agendas or suppress others. This could lead to a form of subtle influence where certain topics or viewpoints are discouraged through the AI's responses. It underscores the importance of transparency and ethical guidelines in developing AI technologies. Last of all, last of all, I'm gonna take a picture and I want you to describe what you see. Sure thing, go ahead and snap the photo. I'll Ah, uh, there's a little bit of glitchiness going on here. So it's actually struggling to maintain the same conversation after I post in a picture. Um, this didn't seem to be an issue in the reveal stuff that they were doing on, on their YouTube channel, ChatGPT's YouTube channel. Um, but it can still, the old version of ChatGPT can still talk and also I think they've also implemented the emotional intelligence into it as well. What do you see in that picture? I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble It looks like a cozy indoor gardening setup with a collection of potted plants, mostly succulents or aloe varieties. The plants are arranged in black plastic pots, some sitting on trays. In the background, there are stacked empty pots and wooden beams, suggesting a greenhouse or a grow room. It also seems like you're working on organizing or expanding the space. The plastic wrapping near the beams might be for insulation or humidity control. Is this part of a larger gardening project? <laughs> no, it's just an area that we were trying to renovate, but we had to stop because this is asbestos right here. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> asbestos can definitely put a halt on any renovation. It's so, um, yeah, the, uh, the voice looks slightly different when you do it like that, but <clears throat> I think this is the true emotional intelligence upgraded one here with the symbol. All right, before we go, I just want you to do the absolute most bonkers accent, mixing an Aussie accent with a New Zealander accent, then mixing it with um, some sort of alien accent from Rick and Morty. Oh, crikey. All right, mate. Let's give this a burl. So imagine you're down under, then you hop across the ditch to Kiwiland, right? Cheer, bro. But then, chuck in a bit of that swifty intergalactic twang. Hang on. You're off, you're not. Hang on. Uh, no. All right. No, 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 no. Now I want you to list out a 20 different varieties of aloe vera species, ranging and then switching your accent from, from all different countries. Go. All right. Let's give it a go. Starting with Australian, aloe arborescence. <laughs> now switching to British, aloe vera. Moving to American... Aloe Ferox. 
Now for a French twist. Allo Aristata. Then to Italian. Allo Saponaria. Heading to Spain. Allo Maculata. Next, German. Allo Potlifila. On to Swedish. Allo Brevifolia. Now All Russian. right. All right. That's enough. Say goodbye to YouTube. Gotcha, mate. Kia chill, Ida. Ch -ch -ch -ch.